Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Coming to you from the onion patch. Tonight I am smoking my Svenborg Bart, I think it is. Let me check here. I think that's what it's called. Can't Bark. Svenborg Bark, B-A-R-K. Brandy. Wonderful. Wonderful pipe. And in it, I am smoking some Cornell and Deal Crooner, which is fast becoming one of my favorite tobaccos. The interesting thing was, when I opened this jar up just now, it smelled like an apple pie. And I had never got that from it ever before. So I don't know if it was just because it had been sitting so long, but boy, did it smell delicious. It smelled so good. And there's no flavoring in this at all. So that's just from the, the deer tongue and the, the tobaccos. But boy. It did smell good when I popped that jar open. So I need to take this softy bit off of here. I'm going to need to work on that. Yeah, I'm enjoying the... pipes without the softy bits at the moment so the stem is just so much thinner especially on these Danish pipes the Svenborgs and the in the uh, Bari pipes the stems are just so thin It's like having no stem in your, you know, in your teeth at all. It's amazing. Spent the day working on a house, getting things packed up. Made a bunch of progress today. Hopefully we can continue that the next couple of days and get through the whole thing and be done with it and ready to go. And we got to work on the, the garage and go through all the, the boxes in the garage and see what's in them. And a lot of my mom's stuff in the garage, so can't throw that away until my sister and and uh, my nieces have gone through that stuff. But I can go through all of my stuff that's out there and um, make some decisions. Get my tools in order. Packed up what I'm taking. Give away what I'm not. Beautiful night out here at 66 degrees. I'm in shorts and a short sleeve shirt. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. We uh we had a lot of fun today while we were working. We were doing some laughing and dreaming and talking about the future and that was all good stuff and uh, Sadie's ready to move back to Alaska and I think eventually she probably will and McKinley was talking about um once she goes for her second major
that she may want to study abroad. And uh, she would be, that would be such a great thing for her. She's always been such an independent person and Seen one of her girlfriends from from high from college. One of her roommates from college had talked about studying abroad, going somewhere, and uh, studying in another country. And so McKinley wants to go to like Denmark or and. Uh, Uh, some place like that. And she's always had a uh, very fierce independent streak about her that she wasn't afraid to do anything and uh, Ever since she was a little kid, you know, we'd be walking and she just, she walked with a purpose with her head up. She was way ahead of us and we'd have to call her and tell her, hey, slow down and <laughs> wait up, wait for us, you know. And uh, she walked, wherever she was going, she walked with a purpose and... She had her head up and she was ready to meet whatever was, you know, put in front of her. Even as a little kid. So we are, uh, just dreaming about the future you know and it's kind of nice to just have that while we're working we're talking about dreams for the future and uh, some of them include Virginia some of them include Alaska some of them include um, studying abroad uh, Mine includes trying to get my driver's license back <laughs> so I can get the doctor to release me to, to drive again. That's my goal for when I get to Virginia is get a doctor to release me so I can drive again. Because I want to be able to drive all over the place in Virginia. I got, you know guys close enough to visit curmudgeon and old pops and you know because I love to drive I mean I love long taking long drives and it wouldn't bother me at all to go out and drive for 10 12 hours to get someplace you know But man, not being able to drive sucks. <laughs> it really does. It's horrid. It's been a little over a year. But we're making progress. The, the seizures are... are uh, fewer and the, the big ones I, I haven't had a, a large grand mal seizure since December so that's been good um, so that's been over six months but I just got to get these little ones to stop But 
we're making progress. So. McKinley is looking forward to flying to Virginia. She's going to fly there in 13 days, I think it said. Way too soon. And, uh, and then Sadie and I will drive. We'll get a U-Haul. Uh, take the few pieces of furniture that we're taking and clothes and records and stuff like that. Sadie's going to drive the U-Haul. So your prayers will be very appreciated during that period. Well, she'll be fine. She'll do fine. She'll love it, actually. She wants a truck, so this will be a good chance for her to find out what it's like to drive a truck. What a beautiful night. So anyway, that's what's been going on today. Now I'm just relaxing with some crooner. My Svenborg. On a beautiful night. Just a gorgeous night. I'm looking forward to doing... videos from Virginia. <clears throat> I think next Sunday, not tomorrow, but the week after, uh, I'm going to go up to the Pipe Club and hang out with the guys one last time before I leave. Say my goodbyes. I'm not built for goodbyes. That's a tough thing for me to do. So, I'll, uh, But we'll see. See what happens. But I definitely need to get up there and, and see those guys one last time because they became a, a huge part of my life at a time when I really needed some uh, some fun they were there they helped me through my recovery and when I wasn't able to walk and those guys were amazing and uh, I love them and uh, I need to go up and see him before I leave. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Y'all have a good Sunday. God bless each and every one of you guys. And uh, look for the good. Look for the good. I'll talk to you later.